Hey guys, it's me Nisha and I'm coming to you with my sickle cell vlog of the day. Today is September 16th. This is my 16th sickle cell vlog of the month. It is September and September is sickle cell awareness month. So I challenge myself to do a sickle cell vlog every day this month to spread even more awareness about sickle cell disease which is a inherited blood disease that you get from your mother and father you inherit it like you would the color of your skin and the color of your eyes anything that you would inherit from your parents is where you get that from is how you get it I mean um so today what I'm going to talk about is I'm going to talk about having a nanny a little bit more because I got some questions about it I'm so so sorry I can't remember your name. I'm sorry that I forgot your name. But hey, girl. Um, but what she was asking, she used to have a nanny herself, and she was asking about having a part-time nanny. Um, so basically, we do have a, we kind of have a part-time nanny. So basically, we don't need a nanny every single day. So, we did use care.com to find somebody. And I'm not going to lie, it wasn't easy because most of the people on there want full-time nanny jobs. And that's just not what we wanted. And we just weren't looking for that. So, she was asking how were we able to do that. If you keep looking and keep searching, there is there are some people out there who's willing to do it on on-call basis. Um, what we even did before we found somebody that fit our schedule completely, we had a couple nannies that we liked. Um, a couple nannies that we liked that we would set up and basically if one can do it, the other one could do it. So I mean, maybe that's something that you can do. And I know you don't want to, like you said, you don't. She said she didn't want to pay the nanny every week if she didn't need need the nanny. And I definitely understand that because that's a waste of money, and we all have bills and responsibilities that we need to take care of. So you definitely don't want to do that. So what I recommend with that is um, either you can make because the thing about the whole nanny thing is that it's flexible and it's off of what what you want. So if it doesn't fit you, then you just don't hire that person. So you can tell that person like, hey, maybe there's a small fee that you can give them every week to hold, you know, like hold your spot. Not a full nanny salary every week, but just a small fee that you can give them every week or every two weeks or every month. Whatever it is that you decide so that when you do need her, she's available. You can do something like that. Or you can do like we did before, which is find like maybe two or three that you're comfortable with. And if one, one, so basically what we did is my husband's schedule is about to be rotating. So we found someone who was able to stay overnight with them. And we found someone who could stay with them in the daytime if we need it. So basically we had some we had the whole day covered. So that that's what we did. You could do something like that. Um now the nanny that we found now um she actually fits our schedule 100% like everything that we want. She fits it. And it took me a couple months to find her. So um I mean just keep looking there are people out there who are willing to do it. What I will say the people that are the most flexible, and I'm not discriminating, the people that are the most flexible are the younger people in college and older people who are not working and looking to fill their time or something like that. So, you know, people like mid-age, like late 20s and 30s, those people are looking for like full-time jobs. So... That that didn't work for us. That's why with those people, we had to have a couple when we had people in that age group. But this nanny, she she's a, um, she's college age. So and it works for us because she's not looking for a full time job. She was flexible on her pay. She's flexible on her hours. I just say don't get discouraged. 
keep looking and there's someone out there. There's always someone, you know, you'll look at some, put your, what you want out there. And when I was first emailing, what I did is I emailed like 20 nannies that I thought I would like. I emailed all of them. I basically just copy and paste the email in, on care.com messaging all of them of what our needs were. And like, I was getting so many rejections, like, no, that doesn't fit me. No, that doesn't fit me. I'm like, oh my God, am I ever going to be able to find a nanny? Like, what the heck? Am I going to be able to find somebody? So it wasn't easy for me, like, ding, oh, I got somebody on the first try. No, it was, it was, I have to say it was difficult. And it got to the point where I was like, ugh, like, I don't want to do this. Like, babe, can't you just call off? Which I know that's not reasonable. He can't call off all the time because we have bills. They have to be paid. Somebody's got to work. So I went back and I found a couple that fit us. And then until I found the one that fits everything, um, I just I just kept doing kept looking. So the the nanny that we have now, she will help us with carpool. She can stay overnight with the kids. She can. Um, help uh help prepare meals like actually she'll be over here in a few minutes to help me with my meal preparation i done a vid i did a video on that in the past showing you guys that i prepare meals for like a whole month and put them in serving sizes and then freeze it so that um my family has meals if i go down or if i don't feel good already made home cooked meals so she's coming over to help me with that. And she also helps with cleaning, laundry, all of that stuff, errands. So there's someone out there. So just keep searching. I hope that what I said made sense. And I hope that it was helpful to you. If it wasn't, please, please, please leave a message. Send me a message, a comment, something. And I will be more than happy to do another video. And the reason, guys, that I do videos when you ask questions is because someone else might have that same question that you're asking. So instead of, I'll still, I can still message you if you like, but I just feel like it's better for me to do a video. So later on, two weeks later, if somebody asks me this question, I can refer them to this video because I might not remember what I said, but that's it guys. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. Thank you for helping me reach a thousand subscribers and I will see you in my next vlog tomorrow. Bye.